I just got back from an amazing trip to the Alps and got to ride heaps of new trails. And every day was a new trail. Pretty much every run was a new trail. And at first that was pretty intimidating. And not knowing where I was going, riding with really fast riders, kind of not wanting to slow people down and trying to keep up, really kind of pushed my riding to a new level. And today we're gonna to talk a little bit about some tips that we can use to kind of help us when we're negotiating a trail that we're not familiar with. When I was riding in Europe, the thing that was probably the most helpful to me was having somebody in front of me who knew the trail and being able to watch that rider on the trail. I could, even if I wasn't looking directly at them or focusing directly on them, I was able to see the movements of their bike, the direction they were turning, maybe something that they were going over and get a pretty indi good indication of what was coming up. The other thing that helped me was starting to relax. And my first couple of days on the bike, I noticed that I was really tense. I was carrying a lot of tension in my upper body and just generally not feeling super, super loose on the bike. And really I started to realize that when we're riding unfamiliar terrain, it's best to ride it kind of like we're riding in mud or like we're riding on really slippery ground, where we just want to have a nice open stance and be kind of loose. And speaking of that, one of the things that's really helpful is when I can't see over a rise, I don't always want to take that leap and maybe just jump into something that I can't see. So a lot of times when my guide would pull away from me and lose me on the trail and leave me feeling a little bit lost, I would just really try to relax. And if I could see down trail, I might jump off things and feature and you know pick takeoffs and landings on the way down the trail like I normally would. But when I came over something blind, what I started to learn to do was to really suck the bike up into me and keep it on the ground because I didn't know which way the trail was gonna turn. If you're new to a trail and you can't see ahead, you really wanna keep the tires on the ground if you can. So I started to adopt a very passive kind of feel with my legs and really kind of a loose open stance on the bike. Just widening up my stance a little bit allowed me to kind of let the bike roam freely where it needed to go to find the best line down the hill. The other thing that really helped was to not target fixate and to really kind of rely on my peripheral vision. And if you if you try this simple drill, it's actually pretty pretty cool. Like go outside, look down the trail, maybe look down 100 feet and focus on one particular item. And then look around, take your hands and, and move them around you like this and still focusing on the item that's down trail, you'll notice that you can still see your hands below you. You can still see rocks that are moving at you, even if you're not looking directly at them. And I think what I found was when I was first riding the first couple days when I wasn't very relaxed that I was actually looking at every single rock and root that came at me as it came at me and then pretty soon I just rode so many trails and I've been on my bike so long I started to just relax and keep my vision up where I wanted it down trail that also allowed me to keep my body in a better position and I started to rely more on my peripheral vision riding trails blind can be a little bit dangerous and a little bit scary at first but if you stay loose rely on your peripheral vision listen to the riders who are telling you about the trail and maybe get to watch somebody in front of you, it can be a really empowering thing for your skills on the bike.